In a hilltop slum crammed between two of Rio de Janeiro's wealthiest neighborhoods, children practice Brazilian jiu-jitsu, hoping to follow in the footsteps of the black belts whose graffiti portraits decorate their gym's walls. Brazilian jiu-jitsu has provided an escape route for numerous kids from the rough valleys of Cantagalo, an impoverished favela whose shacks spill down a hill between the upscale beach neighborhoods of Copacabana and Ipanema. Taking a break from teaching holds to a group of boys grappling on the mat, jiu-jitsu master Douglas Rufino says he has seen the sport literally save kids' lives. I can say it saved me, too, says Rufino, 41. I could have followed another path here in the community, a neighborhood rife with drug gangs and violence, he says. Instead, the Cantagalo native went on to win the World Lightweight Championship in 2006. His face is now one of those painted on the walls of the gym, a hall of fame of sorts, paying tribute to the favela's greatest black belts. The school has produced numerous champions, and former students now practice and teach Brazilian jiu-jitsu in Portugal, Singapore, Sweden and the United States. Beyond teaching takedowns, holds and sweeps, the program aims to impart life values. Jiu-jitsu, an ancient Japanese martial art, arrived in Brazil in the early 1900s, introduced by an immigrant jiu-jitsu master named Mitsuyo Mida.